When you're playing the Star Wars RPG, it can be a good idea to brush up on the unarmed combat rules, even if you're not playing an unarmed focused character. You're not playing a martial artist who focuses on punching people, but the rules still might come up because you go into a Hut's compound and they don't let you bring your weapons in. The party gets thrown in jail and all of their gear is confiscated. An enemy rolls really well and decides to use that roll to disable or disarm you of your weapon. You roll really poorly and the GM uses your threats or despair to make you run out of ammo or disable your items. Sometimes it's just thematically appropriate to punch people but not okay to shoot them. A barroom brawl breaks out and everyone's trading blows and the bartender mostly okay with it but if someone draws a gun, well, now the cops are getting called. So, how do the rules work and where can we find them? Well, I'm going to use Edge of the Empire's core rulebook, but they can also be found in Age of Rebellion and Force and Destiny. I'll include the page numbers for those books down below because I'm going to use Edge of the Empire for my examples. Like most of the rules in this game, even if they're confined to one book, you still got to look in three to four places to kind of get the whole picture. So before we even get to unarmed combat, we are going to jump to page 204 to brush up on range bands. 204 breaks down that all melee and brawl checks are at engaged range, and they are all, always, an average check of two purple difficulty dice. Then we move forward to 211, and that will break down how unarmed combat works. Page 211 says that everyone has a damage of unarmed attacks equal to their brawn score. Their critical rating is always equal to 5, and their item qualities for unarmed attack is always disorient 1 and knockdown. We also see on page 211 that when you are making an unarmed attack, you as the attacker get to pick whether this attack goes to their wounds or to their strain. You decide where the damage goes, but soak will apply either way. The final thing that page 211 breaks down is that there are different types of weapons that essentially modify your unarmed attack. An example of these would be the shock gloves or brass knuckles that we can find on page 161. Page 211 says that if we're using one of these items, we can choose to use the damage of either our basic attack or this item. We can choose to use the critical rating of our base damage or this item, and then the item qualities of the item can be added on top of whatever item qualities are on our basic attacks. So let's jump forward to page, let's jump back to page 161 and take a look at brass knuckles. We'll see that they have a plus one damage. This means that it is one plus whatever our basic bronze score is. They have a critical rating of four, which means that they re can replace the critical rating of five on our default fists. They also have a quality disorient three, which would replace disorient one on the basic attack. So now if we're attacking with brass knuckles, it's going to be average two purple difficulty check. The damage will be our brawn plus one. We crit on four advantage, and then we have disorient three and knockdown when we're making the attack. Shock gloves are the other, are the other item that are on this page, and you'll see they're a little bit different. They have a zero in the damage quality, so the damage is whatever our bronze score is, not modified. They have a five critical hit rating, which is the same as our basic attack, so it also doesn't change. But then they have stun three. This means that it is an average check, two purple dice. Damage is equal to our bronze score. Critical is five advantage, but then our attack has stun three, disorient one, and knockdown. That's it. That's how unarmed works. There are going to be items in the other books that allow you to modify this different besides just the brass knuckles and the shot gloves. But in summary, all attacks for melee and brawl have to be made at the engage range. All attacks for melee and brawl are always an average two purple difficulty dice check. The damage is equal to your bronze score unless you're using an item that increases it beyond that. The critical rating is always five, unless you're using a weapon that allows you to make it lower. And the item qualities are always disorient one and knockdown, unless you're using an item that adds to those qualities. That's how unarmed combat works in this system. So thank you again for your time. Hopefully you learned something new and I look forward to catching you in the next video.